searching for hope and healing after a devastating tragedy. Tonight, the community of Duxbury coming together to pray for the Clancy family. Neighbors, first responders, even people who didn't know the family are grieving while a mother in a hospital room prepares to face murder charges for the deaths of two of her children. Her baby boy still hospitalized. WBZ's Christina Rex was at the vigil tonight. Christina, you could see how devastated people in that community are for the surviving family members. Yeah, Lisa, it's been such a difficult week here in Duxbury, and so many people I spoke with tonight tell me they feel so connected to this family because they have kids the same age or they have grandkids the same age, and that connection is what made them want to come out tonight and be together. Passing a flame neighbor to neighbor through this crowded church, the power of community and prayer was just what Duxbury residents needed. They prayed for the Clancy family. The priest described them as happy and loving before this week's tragedy. Pat, the husband and father, the children Cora and Dawson, who sadly passed away. Callan, who remains hospitalized in critical condition. And Pat's beloved wife, Lindsay. Holy Family Church was filled with people ready to support the Clancy's, even those who don't know them and struggle to understand how a mother struggling with serious mental health issues could allegedly harm her own children. You know, you try to understand it. I mean, it's hard to imagine how that could happen still, but I'm trying to learn. I don't know how I feel about the situation. She was sick, but I'm sure that was his heart. And now um, he lost his kids and his wife. So I just feel sad. Along the walls inside the church, first responders and their families. For us, it's like I said, we, we can, it's just unimaginable. But for those first responders, they witnessed it. And they have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Debbie Heath's son is a firefighter and was one of the first on the scene Tuesday night. It's still bothering him today. I mean, you know, yesterday when, when it's quiet, that's when you start. You're alone with your thoughts and, um, you know, he's had, he's had a little breakdowns here and there, but hopefully every day it'll get a little bit better. And tonight's vigil is really just the tip of the iceberg. This community is already doing so much. They've started fundraisers for the Clancy family and they're bringing meals to first responders. Live in Duxbury, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.